Hello, I'm Alison, and I would like to talk to you about this piece of artwork that was made by one of my favourite sculptors, Barbara Hepworth. She was born in 1903 in Wakefield in Yorkshire, and she loved, as a child, travelling through the rolling hills of the Yorkshire landscape. Later in life, she moved down to St Ives in Cornwall, where again she was surrounded by rugged rock formations that had been sculpted by the sea. These landscapes and natural forms inspired and influenced a lot of her work, as did the human form. This piece is carved from a single block of marble, and she would have had to carve this by hand. In my own art practice, I have had the opportunity to do stone carving, so I thought I'd bring along today my hand tools to show you, so you can see the sorts of tools that Barbara would have used to make this piece. So this is my mallet, and, which is a form of hammer, and a chisel. So you would use different weight chisels and hammers, and she would have literally had to carve away all the excess material in order to release the form that we see before us. She is also pierced right the way through, so there's a hole that goes right the way through this sculpture. And you've got a small aperture at the front, but if you were to walk round the back, you would see it opens up to a much larger one behind. She has also created this wonderful smooth surface, which again, she would have had to polish for some time with different emery papers to get this really smooth surface. So a lot of physical effort and time has gone into making this. She's also chosen the material that it sits on. The base is made from wood, and the contrast between the two natural materials is really lovely. Wood is another material that Barbara Hepworth worked in sculpture many times. This piece is abstract in form, but she has chosen to give it a name, and it's called Minoan Head. So it makes us think of a head and perhaps of an eye, but also because it is abstract, you can bring your own thoughts to the piece. When she was at the Royal College of Art in London, she would have visited museum collections as well for inspiration. And the Minoan head is from an ancient Greek civilization, Minoan, on the island of Crete. And you've probably heard of um, King Minos and the Minotaur. So she would have looked at pieces from antiquity and here in the Fitzwilliam Museum we also have a large collection of, of Greek antiquity and my friend Jenny is going to introduce you to a piece that's in the Fitzwilliam Museum's um, collection of Greek antiquities. So you can have a look at something that's similar to what Barbara would have seen. You might be surprised to learn that this pretty modern looking figurine is actually about four to 5,000 years old. It dates to about 2700 to 2400 BC and comes from a group of Greek islands called the Cyclades. It's carved from marble and its maker would have cut away at pieces of the stone with a chisel until he was left with this basic shape before polishing and smoothing the marble. We don't know a lot about what this type of figurine was used for, but we do know that most of the figurines found represent the female body Instead of being a realistic representation of the human form, these sculptures reduce the body to just a few key parts. Head, neck, torso, arms usually folded across the body, and legs. But I think there's something very beautiful and elegant about these simple forms. Barbara Hepworth had a great love of Greece and the sculpture produced by this ancient civilization. It's very likely that she was inspired by the simple forms of figurines like these and the other ancient Greek sculpture that she had seen when she created Minoan Head the marble sculpture you've just seen with Ali. Think back to that sculpture. Can you see how a stylized figurine like this might have influenced Barbara Hepworth? 